Welcome to Compass 101. We're starting this tutorial on the library homepage, library.du.edu. Compass provides a simple, one-step way to search the vast majority of the library's collections and databases. For more targeted searching, try searching individual databases, which contain subject-specific resources with more search options. Let's try a quick example search for coral reefs to help us understand what's included in a compass search. We've used the default search all option, but we could also search just the library catalog. The catalog includes journal titles. We could use this link to go browse all of the articles published in this journal since 1982. The catalog also includes books, government publications, DVDs, archival materials, musical scores, and more. We could also just search the Articles Plus subset. This includes encyclopedia entries, individual journal articles, newspaper articles, book chapters, and more. Now that we have an idea of what Compass is searching, let's return to the default Search All option and start narrowing down our 110,000 results. Putting quotation marks around the phrase coral reefs forces the database to search these two words as a phrase, so we won't see articles about coral necklaces or barrier reefs. That gets us down to about 86,000 results. You can also narrow a search by adding another main concept. Let's specify that we want articles that include both the term coral reefs and the term bleaching. I'm capitalizing the word and so that the database knows it's a search instruction. We're not looking for articles that use the word and. Coral reefs and bleaching gives us about 10,000 results, but now I'm worried that an article might have mentioned the word bleached rather than bleaching. If I put an asterisk after the H, that will find articles that mention the word bleaching or bleach or bleached, etc., and that gives us about 11,000 results. Now let's look at the Refine Results menu on the right-hand side of the page. This gives us various ways to filter out results we don't want. The first thing we see is that our results are sorted by relevance, and look. Our sixth result is from 1988, which isn't very current. You can resort your results by date to put the newest results at the top. Or, if you prefer to keep your results sorted by relevance, you can use the Refine Results menu to narrow by publication date. In my case, I want articles from the last 10 years. So I'll type in 2007 and click Refine. Let's look at the other search filters available. The Peer Reviewed Journals filter is very popular. Just remember that Compass only knows if the journal itself is peer reviewed. So you still need to watch out for book reviews, editorial pieces, and other non-reviewed content that is found in a peer-reviewed journal. Clicking on an item title gives you a lot more information about the item. You can scroll down to read the abstract, listed under description. You can see what keywords were used to describe the article under subject. These keywords make great search terms for future searches. You can copy a pre-formatted citation in a variety of styles. And you can copy a link to the page, so you could email this record to your professor or a group member. To get the full text of an article, look at the Access Online options, then click the name of the database that holds the article's full text. Log in with your 87 number and Pioneer Web password. And once you get to the article page, you want to look near the top of the page or in the left or right hand sidebars to find a link to the PDF. Now, let's go back to our search and look at how to remove a search filter. Look under Active Filters at the top of the column and click the X next to the filter. Let's try a few more search filters. Under Resource Type, you can narrow down to a specific resource type, such as books. We have both ebooks and print books. Here's an example of an ebook. You can see it says online access available. If you open the ebook at the publisher website, you can usually download the entire book or a specific chapter. Here's an example of a print book. It's in the main library 
also known as the Anderson Academic Commons. Under Status, you can see that the item is in place. So you could write down this call number and go find the book on the shelf in the main stacks, located on the lower level of the AAC. If you have any trouble with your search, click the Find More button on the left-hand side of the screen. Then, click the Ask Us button to get help via chat, email, or phone. You can also click Request a Research Consultation to get one-on-one -on -one help from a librarian. Thanks for watching our Compass 101 tutorial.